The Bible says I would seek unto God, and unto God would I commit my cause. This is Eliphaz's counsel to Job. And while much of Job's miserable comforters was wrong, some of what they said was very right. And here Eliphaz recounts, Man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Walking on the broken roads of this life, even we as believers will live a life full of trouble. Not as much trouble as Job experienced. Job's profound personal tribulation is something unlike any believer will probably ever experience or has experienced. Job's profound personal tribulation is a picture of the fiery trials that the nation of Israel will go through during that time of great tribulation in the coming future. And yet, trouble seems to be the common denominator of all believers. Living in a world that is dead set against you with a God, the devil himself, that longs to destroy you. Man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Like a fire launches those sparks upward, the flames of persecution, trouble, heartache, and trial just seem to permeate this life on the broken road called planet Earth. And yet Eliphaz's response to trouble that he counseled Job to have and we can take lessons from is very instructive. Seek unto God. Unto God commit your cause. Give it to God. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. Man, whether he's saved or lost, will face trouble. The difference is that the saved man, the one that knows God, can seek unto God, can give his cause to God, can commune and pour out his complaint to God and get deliverance, help, and strength from God above. Are you in trouble today? That should not be a surprise. Will you seek unto God in your trouble? That is the difference that you and I can take as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We can heed the advice and the counsel of the psalmist David, who said in Psalm 37, verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Are you going to keep holding on to that trouble and try to make it work yourself, or will you give it to God and see what God can do?